Now we're going to be talking about solving simultaneous linear equations by using substitution. Now, we could solve this graphically, um, and we've done that before, by taking the uh, linear graph of x plus 2y equals 12 and 3x minus y equals 1. But sometimes you're going to get some values that are approximations, or really your best guess. So what we're going to do instead is use a different method, and that is the substitution method. How do you use the substitution method? Well, let's take a look at the different steps. So, there are four different steps that we're going to use. Um, the first step is going to be to express one equation in terms of a single variable. So, for example, with my um, simultaneous linear equations here, x plus 2y equals 12 and 3x minus y equals 1, what I'm going to do is take the first equation x plus 2y equals 12, and I'm going to change it so that I get x equals 12 minus 2y. So that's step one. Express one of the equations in terms of a single variable. Then step two is I'm going to substitute that expression into the second equation. So where, everywhere I see x in the second equation, 3x minus y equals 1, what I'm going to do is replace this x with this part of the equation because it is now in terms of y. So it's going to be 3 times, in parentheses, 12 minus 2y minus y equals 1. So what this did is now I can solve this equation because it, in, is it, because it is in terms of one variable. So I have 36 minus 6y minus y equals 1. 36 minus 7y equals 1. Subtract 36 from both sides. And I get negative 7y equals negative 35. Or y equals 5. So then I solve for the unknown. But if you remember, if you're solving simultaneous linear equations, your answer needs to have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So far, I've solved for the y-coordinate. Now what I need to do is solve for the other unknown, which means I can take this y equals 5 and plug it back into my original equation. Which one? It doesn't really matter which one. So let's go with the first and I get x plus 2y, but instead of y, I'm going to use 5, or sorry, instead of y, I'm going to use 5, equals 1. And by 1, I mean 12. x plus 2 times 5 equals 12. So x plus 10 equals 12. I subtract 10 from both sides, and I get x equals 2. So my answer then has to be in the form of a coordinate. So then my answer is positive 2, comma 5. Now what I can do is check to make sure those numbers fit both of the equations, make sure that's true, and that's probably a good step. So I'm going to take 2 plus 2 times 5 equals 12. Is that true? 2 plus 10 equals 12? Yeah, that's true. All right, let me take a look at the next equation. 3x minus y equals 1. So 3 times 2 minus 5 equals 1. 6 minus 5 equals 1. That is also true. So I know I have the proper solution. 2 comma negative 5. It works for both equations. And that is how you solve a simultaneous linear equation using substitution. That's all there is to it four steps. So why don't you go ahead and try it, solve the simultaneous equations 5x plus y equals 5 and 4x minus 7y equals negative 9 using the substitution method. Good luck.